All right, so we have our lesson about uh, MPS, MPC, and the simple multiplier, sometimes called the government spending multiplier, although it could also apply to consumption and other increases in GDP, and tax cut multiplier. Okay, note, you will not be provided with a table on the exam, but this is how you figure stuff out. Okay, so when you are doing calculations, it all works out the same way. And it seems like when we have it set up like this, people understand it uh, much better. So uh, first of all, you have to know that MPS plus MPC always equals one, okay? So there's basically three combinations that are always used. 0.1 plus 0.9, 0.1 MPS, 0.9 MPC, 0.2 MPS, and 0.8 MPC, and then 0.25 MPS, and 0.75 MPC. I've rarely seen anything other than those combinations, so let's just use those three, because that's what we're gonna get hit with. All right, first of all, MPS is the change in savings or the change in income. So if we're given a problem where a person gets a $10,000 raise, and they save $8,000 more, that would be a 0.8 uh, MPS. Oh, sorry. They would save, that would be too big of an MPS. Let's say they save $2,000 more, that would be a 0.2 MPS, okay? So just remember, it's change in savings over change in income. MPC is change in consumption over change in income. So it's not just like, the guy makes $100,000 and he saves $20,000. You know, there hasn't been any change. Okay, so just remember that if that comes up. Uh, more importantly is the, the formula is for a simple multiplier, which is one over MPS. So what probably is gonna happen is you're gonna be given the MPC, you need to figure out the MPS, then plug it into here and calculate the multiplier. The simple multiplier is one over MPS. and then the tax cut multiplier is MPC over MPS, all right? And it's handy to know that this is always gonna be exactly one less than the simple multiplier. So if this is 10, this is nine. If this is five, this is four. If this is four, this is three. Notice I use those combinations because they're the only three combinations that we'll have. But if you wanted to, you could plug in, if this is, uh, 8.7134, then this would be 7.7134, okay? If you want to do that for kicks, uh, but I doubt you have much free time this time of year. All right, all I am given is one of these uh, two things, MPS or MPC, and I can figure out the rest, right? So if MPS is 0.25, this is 0.75. The simple multiplier would be one over 0.25 which is four. Seeing into the future as I can, I am going to predict that this multiplier is three. The tax cut multiplier over here is three. Let's see if I'm right. 0.75 divided by 0.25 in your calculator or in your heart, that does equal three. Okay. Uh, over here, I've got 0.2 in combination with 0.8. Here, one over 0.2 equals five. Here, 0.8 over 0.2, that equals four. Note again, that's one less here. And then here, if my MPC is 0.9, this is 0.1. This is one over 0.1, which is 10. Predicting into the future, if this is 10, this is probably 9.9 .9 over 0.1 equals nine. Okay, so that's how you calculate your government spending multiplier and your tax cut multiplier, okay? And it's handy to know these numbers going into the test, okay? Especially if you're in a time constraint situation. All right, now let's move over to a sample word problem. Pretty exciting stuff over here. The MPC equals 0.9 and government spending uh, increases by $12 billion, what's the max change in GDP? Well, what's the multiplier? The MPS is gonna be 0.1, right? Because 0.9 plus 0.1 equals one. 
So 1 over 0.1 equals 10. I'm not trying to be funny. It's the opposite of trying to be funny. It's just telling you if it's called a multiplier, I'm probably going to be doing some multiplying. So this 10, I multiplied by the big fat number. Well, the big fat number sure is at 0.9, so it's probably this over here, 12 billion. So the maximum change in GDP is 10 times $12 billion, or $120 billion. Maximum change in GDP, okay? Again, this doesn't really happen in the real world. It's part of the AP exam. It's kind of like the fastest possible marathon ever run would be if Usain Bolt ran his fastest speed for 26.2 miles. Because guess what? At top speed, Usain Bolt is about 26 miles an hour. Guess what? It's going to take him about an hour. But that'll never happen. Just like this will never happen. But I have to teach it. Thank you, AP. Uh, a real multiplier in the real world probably falls somewhere between 1 and 2. Okay. All right. All right, let's take a look at a tax cut multiplier. Oh, let me just quickly, if I change this to decreases spending by $12 billion, then this would have a negative impact of negative $120 billion. Thank goodness that doesn't happen either, right? Okay, so uh, if this decreases spending, so know your increases decreases, okay, pay attention to that, okay? All right, let's take a look at number two. If the MPC is 0.75 and taxes are cut by $5 billion, there's a tax decrease. Taxes are cut. Well, my tax cut multiplier is calculated differently. That's 0.75 over 0.25, which is three. So that's my tax cut multiplier. What do I do with my multiplier? I multiply them. So three times 5 billion going to be a maximum change in GDP of $15 billion. Okay? All right. If, heaven forbid, I better not run for political office because I'm about to say something that'll per permanently ban me from political future. Taxes are increased by $5 billion. I see Grover Norquist over here. He's the guy... Yeah, Grover, you stay right over there. No joke, that's his real name. Look him up. He forces all Republicans to sign a pledge that they'll never raise taxes. Okay. Uh, and then if they do raise taxes, he puts them on the list. The Grover Norquist list. All right. But if taxes are increased by $5 billion, it's going to have a negative impact on GDP of negative $15 billion. All right, so this is the various permutations of problems with the multipliers, okay? Uh, you know, know your formulas. It's real easy, and the numbers are all the same. Man, would math be easy if I knew what combinations of numbers were the only combinations going to be given to me, okay? Um, and just don't get tripped up. You know, the tax cut multiplier is different. Uh, than the sp simple spending multiplier. Also, don't be thrown off by fancy verbiage. You know, tax revenues are increased by $4 billion. That means taxes have been increased, okay? All right, uh, there could be an increase in military spending of blah, blah, blah. There could also be an increase in consumption, okay? Or investment or anything else that and that, that unless there's taxes involved i use this multiplier the simple multiplier if there's a change in gdp if we talk about taxes then you go to this one okay don't worry about why okay we don't care about why right now we just want to make sure we understand these formulas and the reason we don't want to care about why is because this doesn't happen in the real world anyway all right